Hello, good afternoon everybody, hope you're all well. I um, feel a bit unprepared today, I've had uh, quite a busy day, so apologies for being late today, because we're normally here at um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but nice to see so many of you with Hello, me. Good afternoon, oh, here we go, I do well. that every week, don't um, I? I'm just turn, turn the sound of my own voice today, off. So there, that shows what a delay it is. Um, hello, Dominica in Poland and Anne and Karen all on YouTube and then, oh gosh, how many do we have on Facebook? It's really busy comment wise. Um, afternoon, and, oh, 174. Two, let me go back to the beginning. Who was first in today? We have Jean Baker. Hello. Uh, Janet, Helen, Sheila. Um, and Sheila's, I, I, think, I think you're okay doing housework on a Wednesday. It's just Saturday mornings that Boris has a problem with, you know, the two metre social distancing from household appliances. Um, hi, Michelle. Hi, Jan. Oh, everybody. I'm going to miss lots of you, I know. Um, oh, it's chilly in South Africa, says Lynette. It's boiling here again, Lynette. It's one, I've got the fan on, so if you can hear the noise, I can't. If I switch it off, I should be a, a puddle on the floor in no time. Hi, Celia. Um, Jean, are we getting any more gunmetal bag feet? Have we not got any? I shall have a word with, with my daughter who's in the office this afternoon. So, hi Ruby, hi Coco, hi Morag. Hello Lisa in Cyprus, hello to you too. Um, right, so if I miss anybody, I apologize. I know I've missed lots of you. Um, hi Elizabeth, Liz in Musselburgh. Hi Jules and Christine. Now I've got, it's, it's like being in here on a windy day, isn't it? Um, hello Sarah on the website any news on the move no no actually I've had to, the reason I'm late today I don't know if I said before I've had um, a quilty meeting with uh, Melissa who's my friend who makes the quilt designs for um, the Harvey Yard Club who I'm actually writing a book with as well um, well she started it she started it um, so we've been having a chat today and I was telling her about it. I cannot believe the amount of hoops that one has to jump through to tick all of the boxes to be able to move house. So I'm getting reams and reams of emails at the moment from solicitors. So I'm hoping things are going to go through within the next year. Um, hello, Terry in Manchester, USA, Virginia. Hello, Mary McHugh. Right. I've got lots of new fabric to show you. Remember we were talking last week about uh, Lego fabric. Well, my dear daughter has found you some. Let me pop those on my knee so you can see this. It's not Lego character, it's Lego blocks. Isn't that fun? Look at this. I couldn't believe it when this arrived. Um, oh, now then, I seem, to, I seem to have stopped on the website, so apologies about that. And I can't see a thing on YouTube, so I'm assuming things are going out there, but website no idea what's going on um, and on Facebook too there's an odd one hello Tracy and Berwick on Tweed if you can hear me oh that's frustrating it's happening too often sorry if I stopped and started again I don't know what's going on there so anyway I'm still here hi Candy in Canada um, within the I know Jules, it's it's ridiculous. Um, these are, I think they're quite wide. I think these are 140 wide. Looks it, 100% um, cotton. It's it's really lovely fabric, isn't it? Bright and colourful as well. I love that. I was I was going through my collection of planes to see what fabric would go with it, and it's everything: purple, red, pink, blues, turquoise, orange. It's gorgeous. So that's brand new and only went on the website this morning. We've got a couple of perfect pairs for you. Again, this is all brand new today. It's really exciting. So these are there. You'll love these. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got like doves in it. And this is paired with a lilac. Thanks, Sandra, for letting me know. Um, hello, Yvonne in New Jersey. Aren't they beautiful, though? I love these two colours together. Um, I don't know what I'd make. I'm, I'm thinking... Um, cushion covers interior design maybe with this one and of course beautiful bags tried to buy a tilde doll with 10 pounds off and couldn't find it margaret we don't do tilde doll fab that's i don't think that's one of ours um 
We don't we don't do Tilda dolls. We do Tilda doll fabric and Tilda doll hair, which are the the, the really little balls of yarn. But we haven't got anything with ten pounds off, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, these are lovely. It reminds me somehow of stained glass windows. I don't know why. It's really pretty. So those are put together in pairs. Or also, this one, the pattern one, is available by the half meter. So if you wanted to make something bigger, it is available on its own. So if you order, if you wanted a meter or two meters, then you order two or four units, and so on and so forth. Isn't it pretty? So that's the first of our perfect pairs. And if you haven't seen the perfect pairs before, they, the colours match beautifully. So you don't have to worry about, oh, well, if I buy that one and then that looks as though it's going to go with it, will it actually match? You know, it's going to backpack with that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Do you remember the backpack that we made? Was it last week? That would look fantastic in, um, in the Lego fabric. That's my, um, Kimberly's daughter, Vienna, my middle granddaughter, um, grandchild, is um, mad on Lego, so I, I think somebody's going to be having a backpack for school out of that one. Lemons. These again, everything's brand new today. Hello, Julian Ilkley and Mina from India. Hello. A dog and a cat by Tilda. I haven't got, I haven't got a dog and a cat. We haven't got dogs. No, we don't do those, Margaret. I haven't got a dog and a cat by Tilda. It's not one of ours. See if you can put a picture on. Well, you can't do that on YouTube, can you? Um, hello, Phyllis in North Carolina. And um, Debbie, uh, didn't want to Debbie, Debbie from Florida. Is that Debbie from Florida? Or saying good morning, Debbie, from Florida. Lemons and lemon fabric. This again, see, that's, that's directional, isn't it? Kitchen wares. Oh, you're gonna have the most beautiful tea cozy and oven gloves and mitts and pot holders and something to cover up your Kenwood chef with. But these are really bright and, and spring like and and summery. Um, and again, your yellow is going to match perfectly. This one again is available um, both in the bundle with the lemon. So those are pre-cut half meter lengths, or you can go for this. Um, so I'm just trying to see, oh, I've got a gap down here, look, that's no, let me, let me do that. Can't have gaps, can we? Um, available by, on, by its own, on its own as well. So if you just wanted the lemons on its own, then you can do. Morning Princess, Morning Star. So I'm just refreshing the website because I'm frozen on that with a very strange look on the face. Um, hi, Lauren. Um, who works if Everything's fine there. Oh, good on the website, it's not here, but Lynn loves a magnetic cat. That's, that's a magnetic pin cushion, not, not an actual magnetic cat. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? What's the cat doing on the fridge? Oh, it's magnetic, I just stuck it on there. Hello, Kate on Wednesday. So Carol spotted crisp. I'm going to tease you with that. I'm not going to show you that one yet, Carol. More new fabrics, let me go through these. Who? Well, I, I think we'll all remember cassettes, won't we? But I was looking at this and I thought, gosh, if, uh, depending what age you are, you probably don't even know what these are. And do you remember when they used to come unrolled and um, you'd, you'd stick a pencil down the middle and, and, and wind them up again? Still frozen on the website. Um, and we had whole collections of them, didn't we? And the players that we used to put them in, can you see those little cassettes, look? Um, the players that we used to put them in were massive. Oh, and then we had portable ones as well. But I was thinking, who remembers? Um, hello, I'm Andrew in Sweden. Eight track cassettes. One of my first cars I bought um, was, it, uh, oh, it was a Cortina. It was a Ford Cortina where you change the gear on the steering wheel. Um, and it had an eight track cassette and I went out and bought as many eight track cassettes as I could, really big chunky things they were, and then they stopped making them because they went on to these things. That's going back a bit, isn't it? Um, it does me, Caroline, it's just, as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, they should do another one, shouldn't they, with records, that is, that'd really take us back. Jean's got reggae cassettes. <laughs> um, Alan's making Union Jack slippers, lovely. Hi, Yvonne. But yeah, got rock and love songs and 90s hits, was it the 90s? Imagine, Carrie was saying the other day, you know, um, 
the 90s doesn't seem very long ago, but it's 20 years, I suppose, isn't it? Really showing our age. Then we've got something for the kids. So we have Alphabet. And you know, these would make great, and an another backpack, I suppose, wouldn't it? Um, but cushion covers and, and drawstring bags and things like that. And it is actually quite nice to go through the animals with your little ones and a yak. Look at that. I was just thinking that the buffalo doesn't start with Y. Um, a vulture. It's a little bit different as well, aren't they? Dogs and elephants. Q is for quail, like that one. So W for whale. Oh, now then, I, I have to say, I, I get I get quite excited when fabric arrives because the way that it works, and I've told you before, um, the the fabric is all delivered here to to my home because this is at the moment where we have our studio and Gary photographs everything for for the website, and then it all goes down to the to the office and our little warehouse. Um, thank you, Kathy. Thanks for looking. Um, Sarah Mildes was born in eight, ni 1891. That, see, it seems like it. 1981. I know, and he's 40. I'm saying always a moment of excitement with this fabric crafts because I don't order it. This is my daughter's department, who I have to say is getting very busy at the moment. Not just on the website. She, I'm really proud of her. She's doing really well. Anyway, that's another story. Um, so I, I don't know what to expect. So we just get these big boxes full of fabric arriving, and I'm like, they're like a ooh, like a kitty in a sweetie shop. Um, and this one, when I saw it, I just thought, wow, I love that. I've never seen anything quite like this one. Um, what animal begins with X? It's an X-ray fish. Look, do we have X-ray fishes? I don't, I don't know, but it's an X-ray fish. There you go. Um, it reminds me of carousel horse. Well, they're unicorns, aren't they? But it, it's like, you, you see unicorn fabric normally, and it's kind of geared towards children. Oh, they're not all unicorns. Look, some are unicorns and some aren't. But this one I thought was unicorns, and it's quite celestial, but it's, it's like grown up, the navy and the cream background. We do indeed ship to Sweden, Amanda. Oh, Sarah. Got a husband, young enough to be my son. Hi, versatile passion. Um, it would actually, wouldn't it? But I like, I kind of like it like that. Yeah, I love that one. Got another bag, I suppose. Oh, now this is kind of a collection. They're all sold individually. They're not bundled together. But I'm going to show you these all together because they just work so well. Oh, I've got two of that one for some reason. Put that down there. Look at those. So again, all, all individual, so they're all by the half metre. So we've got the bees. It's like a very pale bluey grey background. That's really pretty. And the honeycombs. Then on the lemon. See, those two work really well together, don't they? It's not very often you can get two patterns that go, go really well. Because to be honest, these are all from the same collection, but I wouldn't put those two next to each other because they're both too busy. I'd have a plane in the middle. But that would break it up very nicely. And either of them would do. Um, so bees and honeycombs with sunflowers in the background. That one's got a slight stripe. Um, again, now then, I don't know how much they are. <laughs> I can't remember all of that. But if you have a look on the website on debbieshawsewing.com, then you will see under, I think it's new in the section. So you'll, you'll see first of all the video working, hopefully. And um, underneath, thanks Sarah, I'm glad you like them. Yeah, it's working. Um, I've s <laughs> I'm getting the comments on the website, but I've got a frozen picture of me with windswept hair, which is really quite bizarre. Um, Sophie, Sophia, yes, you can sell anything from our fabrics unless it's a licensed fabric, and that's nothing to do with me. Like the superhero fabric over there on the cushion cover, I don't think you can sell that because it's a licensed product. Um, so that that's their stipulation. That's nothing to do with us. So if you see anything, you know, Batman or We've got Harry Potter fabrics and things like that. You can't with those. Anything else, you do what you like with. You make for yourself, you make and sell. You, you, go, you go make some money off them. Um, bunting would be good. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? Shall I show you these, this Christmas fabric? So those are all of the new ones that we've got for you anyway. So do, do go and have a perusal. Um, you can all go down there and there.
this is only one of the fabrics but this is my next collection which I, I thought it would be out by now but it's not so it shouldn't be too long hopefully um, by July anyway uh, by the end of July sorry um, so this is called um, Christmas Critters and this one is like um, confederate blue with the ducks on it I haven't got I can't grab that can I if you can see behind me there are poncettias and then there are little foxes and we've got rabbits and they're weasels we've got little weasels with um, Christmas um, lights in their mouths as well and we're going to be putting these on pre-order um, because there, I've had so many questions about them um, again all 100% cotton and um, they're going to be bundled together this time in half metre lengths so you'll have five half metres there's five fabrics in the collection we will also include in that bundle the confederate blue and a sage green and the red I don't have samples of these to show you at the moment um, let me just see if I can if I can just hold your attention for just one second while I grab this little dress that Anne made there you go and I can show you some of the other fabrics on there as well whoops so this one has got little hairs on it look sitting on boxes and holding stockings and presents this is the one with the weasels so these are all the kind of the the animals that I see when we go out we don't see weasels very often but we do see them and I think they're so cute so he's got his antlers on and this one's carrying the little um, lights and then that's made with the poncettia fabric as well so that, that's the most of them and it's really pretty isn't it it's really, it's such a lovely job of that one so again I don't even have samples of the actual fabric to show you as yet because they, I was only sent about a metre of everything and my, my girls have made those up for me so it is absolutely brand new haven't even got it in the country yet but it will be on pre-order in half meter bundles we will have it by the half meter as well melissa made this one it's gorgeous isn't it um but at the moment we're only pre-ordering the bundles well we're not at the moment but hopefully by the end of the week we should get have something on there for you so that's that's just a little bit of a tease and something to look out for uh jane's waiting for a pink parcel oh sarah you need you need to follow my daughter she makes a couple of outfits every week at the moment. Um, thank you. I'm glad you like them. I sh I'll give you more news on that maybe, maybe on Saturday. No, when when we've got the um, the mantles in. Um, now then, I'm going to make a bag. I was a little bit rushed today, I have to say. Um, so uh, apologies for that. So I'm not too prepped, but we have a whole um, set of these purse handles coming in any time now there's a very very few on the website at the moment but hopefully by the end of the day they're going to be there and i love this handle i think it's so elegant it has been but it was the nancy frame we called it but this is a slightly different size um so it won't fit the pattern that we made for them so i'm going to show you how to make a bag using this from scratch um using the very berry fabric as well because when i put those two together i just thought i could imagine the way that that's going to look in a little evening purse and that's going to look really nice that was a little bit bent over there we go so with the frames you can put a chain on there as well i'm not going to with this one um and i haven't decided how what shape i'm going to make it yet i shall um i shall figure that out as we go um just before we do and i think i need to switch the iron on for that one um it's windy in there isn't it i want to show you the sew along project that we've got for you on saturday so this saturday with it being the last one in the month is the half yard sewing club facebook live still be on youtube um, and we do a sew along whenever i can anyway so this is what we're going to be making i'll make it something easy so everybody that's sewing can keep up and it would do actually kathleen wouldn't it fastens with a snap and it's all fully lined on the inside and it's padded as well it's a really simple little make um, all of the seams to close the opening over are hidden um, so you've got a perfectly smooth line around here on Saturday I'm going to quilt it and I'll top stitch it as well I just wanted to get this one finished to give you an idea of what we're going to make um, so if you um, 
have a look on my Facebook page. I think it's on there, on the Harfjord Sewing Club Facebook page. And I'll try, I don't, did I post? I think I did. Um, if you subscribe, or if you have subscribed on YouTube, you will have had a message already with all of the measurements of the fabrics that you need and what you need, the materials that you need to have a little sew along. So that'll be 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. Okay. Thank you, Lorraine. Now, I do have a tip, which I said I wasn't, I wasn't too prepped this morning, or today, busy day. What I normally do, because this is a sew-in frame, and what I normally do with a sew-in frame is to sew the thread through the holes first of all, and then glue it in. So I've got, in effect, a glue-in frame. Um, but let me just make sure I've got an embroidery needle. But this time, I'm actually going to sew it in, she says, not having an embroidery needle with her. I've got rather a large one. That's going to have to do, isn't it? But that's the last thing anyway, so I'll show you both ways. So if you're going to glue this in, then take your embroidery thread, and I use all six strands, and sew through here first of all. You'll have um, an odd number. You'll have one of these left empty at the end because this has obviously been designed so that you go one way and then the other. When I'm sewing them, I, I like to sew every other one so it actually looks like a running stitch all the way around. Um, so if you're going to glue it in, do that now. If you're going to sew it in, then we'll have a look at that in a bit. But we need to decide what shape we're going to make first of all. Is it raining in Wirral, Diane? It's baking hot here. Um, we do ship to the USA, Karen. Um, again, it is it is quite expensive, but we have quite a few um, followers in the USA doing up Nancy. Um, right, so let's do this. So I don't know your granddaughter's names, but hello to your granddaughters too, Nancy. If you watch it, well, hello if you're not watching. Right, so this is what we've got, and I'm going to make a pattern first of all. Um, so first I'm going to mark the centre point of my pattern because this needs to be symmetrical and I'm going to place this over the top. Now when the fabric goes inside here, when you think about it, it needs to go right up to the top of the frame. So I'm going to draw around the top of the frame from the hinge all the way around the top and back down to that side. So when I cut the fabric and I sew it, it should sit just inside the frame. So don't do this on the inside. You'll have a, um, a bag that's far too small. It's raining in North Wales as well. Imagine if I had loads of rain over here. Now, if I leave it like this, obviously we join those together, then I'm going to have a very tight opening in my bag and it'll be very flat to the frame. So I want to give it a little bit of a belly. I want to make it a little bit more bulbous. And the way you do that is to extend the line out here. So with the center of the frame in the, on my center crease here, let me just mark that so you can see it. Draw around the outside, down to the hinge, and then I'm going to pivot the hinge and move it out. And draw a line down there. So that's going to be the shape of my bag. And that's about an inch and a half. And then I can decide on the shape of the bag that I want it to be. So do I want a round bag? Do I want a square bag? Do I want a bag that comes out a little bit and then curves round? I think I'm going to come out a little way like this. And I'm going to go straight across the bottom but I am going to box the corners, and I'm going to do that afterwards. And the reason I'm going to do that last rather than cut out the corners is because that isn't a 90 degree angle. So you'll find it easier to box the corners later on, as I'll show you. So let's make this nice and straight now, instead of my hand drawing. So you can see that you can make this any shape and size that you like. This needs to be a 90 degree angle. So let's line my ruler up with the center part here. And that's the shape that I need to cut. But when you think about it, if I wanted to make a bag that came all the way down here, then I can do. If I wanted to just make a little purse shape, I can make it short like this. 
so you can make an evening bag that's that's entirely up to you so I'm not going to give you measurements for this because you work that out yourself you create the bag to the size and the shape that you want to now because I want this to be symmetrical I'm going to fold it in half like so and then I'm going to be in trouble look away for one moment please there's something very important going on outside your window so look in the opposite direction so I'm cutting out the pattern with my dedicated paper scissors got in trouble for that last week I don't think cutting one piece two pieces of paper is going to um, is going to spoil them but I don't normally use fabric scissors for paper quite a stickler about that so there is my pattern right so this one needs to be a 90 degree angle this also needs to be 90 degrees because otherwise if you cut down or up you'll have a v-shape or a point so just make sure that these are straight then oh Shirley you didn't look no Sheila no I told you to look the other way you would never have known if you'd, if you'd done as you were told I need oh I need some lining fabric Good job I've got that, isn't it? Um, I need to cut two pieces of outer and two pieces of lining fabric, all to the same shape. I'm not putting pockets or anything in this one. We'll just we'll just go for it. Just then, I've got a smaller piece of fabric because I'm cutting into a rather large piece there, and I don't want to be wasteful. I've got a drawer full of fabric down here, but I can't see into it. So excuse me while I rummage in my drawers. No, it will be that one. So, letters. Oh, Janet, I know. I, I, I'll go straight from here to the naughty step without stopping to pass go or anything. You see, now what I've done is put my fabric back on top of my keyboard, which is down here and I've turned my screen into a calculator. Funny the things you do. I don't want to count, no, I don't want you, go on. Um, where are we? I know Iris, naughty step. I've got lots of sewing to do this afternoon. So let's pop that on there. And we'll have a few pins. We have a lot of, sort of sewing to do every day. Been rebellious. No, I think a, a extensive use of, of scissors on paper does it no favours whatsoever. But please forgive me for just doing it the once. See, otherwise I just have to stop broadcasting and go back into the house and get me scissors, which I should have done in the first place, I know. Um, right. So that's two pieces of outer fabric, two pieces of lining. If these don't cut, then I will take the wrap entirely. All right, I think, I think we're all right. And I am, I'm gonna iron these before I sew them as well. I'm going to put some H640 fusible fleece on the wrong side of the outer pieces. Let's just chop this. You will need some kind of padding. Um, whether it's a Bosal or an H630 or an H640 or whatever kind of fusible fleece or wadding that you prefer, you will, you will need some wadding because we want a thickness of fabric to push up inside there and create a little bit of purchase. If it's too thin, then you can have a gap. So we want that to be nice and plump inside the frame. Um, Christmas fabric on pre-order. Um, Jan, we've, we've just got to wait for the bundles to actually come in. Um, so I need to, I need the reds, the fabric. Oh, the fabric can be on this area. Hopefully by the weekend, I shall have a word with my daughter to get them on the website by the weekend. Um, to be honest, with the Christmas fabric, if you do want it, as soon as you see it, can you either pre-order it or when we do get it in? Because at, at the moment, the um, uh, the wholesalers that we buy it from um, have sold out so we can't get any more even though we haven't even got it yet so um yeah be quick with that one because they, they don't tend to reorder fabric 
once it's gone, they don't reprint a fabric. Occasionally it comes back in a different colour, but very rarely do you find fabric reprinted. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in trouble for this one, I know. But I think we've ordered plenty. So let's put... Might have to turn that fan down and blow in away. Uh, quilting wadding would work very well, Amanda. Yes, no problem. I'm just going to put some fleece on the back of these pieces. Is that fan all right? It's not, not too noisy, is it? Alright, let's do this. I don't know if Harry's room this is. Oh, I never thought about that, Celia. I suppose, yeah. It's a bit different from cutting through cottons, isn't it? A crisp linen would look really well. And yes, Julie, they've still got the they've still got the crunch. I got away with that one. Right. Normally with um, H640s, I'd, I'd like to use steam, but I've got no water in my little iron. So just cut around the edge of here. I might have to turn that away, actually. I've got, got my hair in my mouth now. There we go. Show you what I'm doing. So I haven't ironed right up to the edge because I don't want to get glue on my iron. Um. <laughs> Kathleen's got three fans on, but it's noisy in your place. Um, could you quilt the fabric? No, quilting would be a lovely idea, and I think that would work really well. I think that would uh, kind of uh, add to the style of the bag, if anything, because I always think a bit of quilting makes it look really classy. And it is a rather classy handle, isn't it? So that's on there. I've got pigeons on the roof now. And there we go. And the same on this side. Again, normally I'd use steam, but they haven't got any. Hi, Zell. We're just making a little bag to go with that handle. Hello, Mina in Canada. <laughs> Jules, I must get air con. Do you know, I was, I was saying to, to Gary the other week, I had two days doing live when it was so hot it was unbearable. You probably remember. Um, I, was, I was bright red. My hair, get, my hair gets straighter and straighter the, the hotter I get. Um, and I said, right, I'm going to get an air conditioning unit. Hang the cost, it's too hot in there. And then the next day, I'd got a heater on, it was freezing. Isn't it bizarre? Oh, our weather. The little birdhouse, they, uh, Martha, are doorstops. They're my wonky house doorstops. And those are members' projects from a half yard sewing club. God, do you like them? Wonky birdhouse would be a nice idea, wouldn't it? Right. Oh, I'm launching my new book, Sew Eco, on Sewing Street on Sunday morning, if you watch Sewing Street, or even if you don't, still doing it, um, at 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you want to pop over to their Facebook page, if you're up early enough, and come and say hello, it'd be nice to hear from you. They're on YouTube live as well, actually, so if you'd rather watch on YouTube, but just really appreciate your comments. It, it's, it's so nice to hear from you, so if you don't mind, just going to say hello. Um, hello, Anna from Spain. Oh, Mina, thank you. Oh, Debbie's lucky. She's been looking after her granddaughter. How lovely. This is all those ends. Mmm, mmm, re, mmm. All right. That's enough with the iron for now. I must remember to... Oh, hot. Turn it off. Um, right, so here you go there. And then we're going to sew the bag together. So if you're going to quilt it, quilt it now. If you've got a plainer fabric and you want to put some applique on there, then do that now. But I'm going to sew... Put that on my knee. I do need to put some thread on the machine as well. I'm just going to sew around the top sections. Let me show you from where the hinge was here to where it finished here. So I did leave that a little bit square so I can see exactly where that is. And I'm going to start sewing 
a quarter of an inch in because I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So I'm not going to start sewing right down here or anything. I'm going to start sewing right from here. So bear with me while I put some thread in this machine. Because I've got a lovely tan colour in there at the moment, which isn't going to go at all. So I'll change that to grey. I've been, um, I've been making a Maddie doll over the last couple of days because she's going to have her own book. So that will be, it's called So Maddie, it won't be out till next year. And it will be the Maddie rag doll and a whole load of, there you are, um, clothes for her to wear as well. The clothing in there will fit your existing Maddie dolls if you've already got one. So that's, that's my next project I'm working on. Right, so again, my foot pedal, quarter of an inch seam allowance, just from that mark there, quarter of an inch in, all the way around the top. Just lengthen the stitch. This, this machine defaults to a 2.2, which is sometimes a little bit too small for what I want. But when you're using fleeces and foams and things like that on the back, it can slow the machine down a little bit because of the friction, so you might want to lengthen the stitch to speed your machine up a little bit. So I'm stopping again, just a quarter of an inch from the edge of the corner there. Let's snip this end off here. So I think I've, I've gone backwards too far on Facebook and I'm missing, oh yes I did. Uh, Jane's retiring from teaching in a few weeks, oh, is that, is that exciting? Um, oh, is that what it was, Ray? <laughs> I thought you were messaging me in code or something. Um, when do you sleep? What's, what's, sorry, what's, what's sleep? What, what is this thing, sleep? Do you know, I got up um, particularly early. I, I don't sleep too well. Um, so I tend to wake up in, in the middle of the night about 3 o'clock. So it's quite nice, actually, because it starts to get light then now. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go and take the dog for a walk. She wasn't happy, didn't want to go. Because normally, I get up in the morning, she gets up, and then she goes straight to bed with my son, who works night, so he's in bed all day, so she sleeps most of the day. So I dragged her out for a walk, and you know, it was wonderful. There was nobody about, it was really quiet, you could hear the birds starting to sing. She came around eventually and did have a good time, but she wasn't happy about leaving. So that's thinking time, isn't it? Let me just turn that away just a little bit, because I... That didn't work, did it? Oh, that's better. So I just get a bit of a waft, not the full breeze. Um, hello, Marjorie in Oxford. First visit, welcome along. More Monday clothes and half yard. Yes, we, I, I think we've got some plan. I think we're going to do a Halloween outfit for the next one. I must do some more clothes for Maddie because she's she hasn't got a huge wardrobe at the moment, has she? And Robin's only got one outfit. Um, I'm missing. Oh gosh, lots of comments. Sorry about that. Morning, Delia. 8:40 a.m. in California. What do you think about four o'clock in the afternoon? Would you like four o'clock on a Wednesday to be a regular? Because I was thinking if you we, we get so many messages saying, um, oh, you know, like it, it's 8.40 a.m. in California and it's three o'clock in the morning here or wherever. And I know a lot of you, if you're outside the UK, are getting up in the middle of the night or just staying up in the middle of the night. Um, so let me know if that, if that would work any better because we can always change it from two o'clock to four o'clock on a Wednesday, if that works. So let me know. That's true, Angela. They don't do though. They don't, don't have many outfits. Angela, Angela's yes, please to four o'clock. Two p.m. for Sheila. Four o'clock for Mary. Four for Denise. Let me know, and we'll have a, a bit of a poll. I might post a comment as well because not everybody's watching all the time, are they? Um, and 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 just let me know. Four o'clock's great. That's when I finish work. Um, we'll we'll have a vote. And um, four o'clock for Lynette. Four is good in Cyprus. Yeah, I'll have a. I'll, I'll, I shan't read all it. I could sit here and read these all day. Two p.m. for Susan. Um, I'll count up. I'll count up later on this evening, or maybe tomorrow, 
and, um, and, and see who wins, basically. I've started something now, haven't I? Anyway, to get back to making my bag. So, just sewn around the top sections like that. So these bits are open. So now I'm going to sew these right sides together. So open it up, right sides together, and I'm going to sew all the way around the outside of the bag, but where I started sewing here is exactly the point that I'm going to finish. So line up the two pieces. This goes, this section is going inside the frame, so don't worry too much about perfection. And just sew all the way around those. So I'm not going all the way around, I'm just sewing the outer fabric for now. Quiltex iron on wadding. I've not heard of that one, so I might have a look at that. Um, okay. School run, oh, I never thought about that school run time. Oh. Right. I do, so as soon as I made the sewing machine, I'm being blasted against it. There, now, now I'm going to melt. If my husband is watching at home, can you go on Amazon and get me an air conditioning unit? You know? Oh, and don't bring me a coffee, it's too hot. Too hot for coffee. Not that it offered. Um, 4 p.m. for June. Right, so straight across the bottom. Oh, we could compromise and say three. That's put another spanner in the work, hasn't it? Should we do two, three, or four? Not doing it later than four, though. I start at five, it's going to be six before I finish, and that's nearly my bedtime. Back up the other side. Again, just using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, or as long as it's consistent, it doesn't really matter. Then when I come up to this seam here, I'm going to stop sewing right at the same point and just back tack a little bit there. Okay. A nice cold drink, Sarah, would be nice, wouldn't it, with ice in it? Not three. Oh, heck. Coffee. Oh, coffee. Thank you. Anyone else? Don't, no, oh no, they want, they want cold drinks today, Gary. Oh, a beer? Do you, anybody want a beer? A quarter to five in the afternoon. I've actually got cloudy lemonade and it's really cold. That is not wine, that is cloudy lemonade. I thought when he came in for a coffee, I thought I'm going to have to be pleasant and say thank you, but I really didn't want a coffee, that's so nice. Right. Oh, that is very nice. Um, so, I sewn around the top bit. Or oh, a bit early for a G&T. No, it's never too early for a G&T. Um, we're going to fold that over and then sew around the bottom bit. So make sure both of the outer flat bits are out of the way. And um, just stick a couple of beers in. Do you know I don't even like beer? Couldn't drink beer. Oh, and of course Lorraine wants the champagne. You look, honestly. It's not even five o'clock yet. You like. I bet you've got some wonky sewing going on today. So just like before, where, where this point finishes here is where I'm going to start. And then we'll sew all the way around like that. Elderflower, oh Amanda, my mum used to make elderflower champagne. Um, and I think it was a lot more potent than she imagined it to be. But it was beautiful. I need to leave a gap in the lining so I can turn it the right side out. I'm not going to stitch the whole of this frame in, by the way, because we, we'll be here all night. Um, a sh I haven't had a shandy for a long time. Ice black coffee with ginger ale. There's some very posh people out there, are there not, Zell? Sarah's got her own draft machine for beer. What do you like? Right, so up to the point and then back again. I need that fan back, sorry. Windswept or not. 
So let's take the pins out and then we're going to square off the corners. So just like we have done a hundred times before. Um, <laughs> 10 45 for Elaine in Florida, too early for alcohol. Got to wait till at least 11 o'clock. So I'm squishing the side seam so it's flush with the base seam. Push those two in opposite directions. And then I'm going to measure how deep shall we make it? Let's do an inch and a half from the point. I think that'll make a, a decent sized square bag. Beer or gin. It is time for beer or gin somewhere in the world. I agree with you there. And then we'll do that. Was a thick pen, wasn't it? Let's do the same on this side. So squish it open. Seams in opposite directions. Inch and a half from the point. Make sure that that's on the centre line as well. Like so. And we'll do the lining while we're here as well. <laughs> Elderflower vodka, I've not heard of that one. And do you know, I, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to be talking about you lot when we're finished. You think they're all nice, sensible people watching this, but they're all, they're all a little bit drunk. Didn't pin that one, did I? So all four corners, two of the lining, two of the outer, all being squared off. Karen needs a hint. She's cutting projects, needing pellon. Oh, I don't know that one. Fusible midway. Is that is that like my um, H640? I'm assuming so. In which case, if it's like um, polyester, try steaming it from a distance. Don't put the iron straight on top of it. But if you kind of hold it up and just steam it with the iron, um, you should see the wrinkles drop out then. Otherwise, surely they're going to come out when you put them on your fabric. Um, but if anybody's got any tips for Karen, let her know. Right, so I'm sewing straight across all of those lines. Ow, that was a pin. Lines now. Tend to be sharp, don't they? Bins. Mark, Mark, Mark! Stop yapping! Mark. Oh, sorry, Jenny. Get another one. Have another one. Um, I don't. We don't sell cutting mats at the moment, Jackie. Um, ma main problem is posting them because uh, they're so huge. But maybe that's something that we could have a look at as well. I don't know where I got mine from. It's probably Amazon. I buy a lot from Amazon. So it's up three, one more to go. And then we're going to snip those corners off. So it's a funny looking thing at the moment. Um, oh, Michelle's built a chicken coop and run. Oh, the Christmas trees behind me are a table runner that Jackie made for me with my new fabric. We don't have the little square rulers, I'm afraid, Mary, no. I must get Kim to look into rulers. The little square one's really handy. It's just four and a half inches square. But yeah, I'll, I'll ask her about that one. Don't trim down any of the fabric that's in here. Normally on a curve, you'd snip into it or trim it down, um, but don't, because we want, want that to be bulky for it to fit inside the frame. So let's turn this the right side out. <laughs> have I got? Have, have I really insulted everybody called Mark who's watching now? I do apologise, but you do yap. Um, hello, Margaret in Barbados. You never have winter there, do you? Right, so sew the opening closed across the bottom. The dressing bag are lovely, aren't they? So showing us how to make a dog walking bag with a hole in for the poo bag. That's a nice idea, Denise. I haven't, I haven't brought my pad to write things down, so I have to remember. My memory's not that good, but remind me. Right. 
So now we're going to push the outer bag inside the lining. Remember I stopped at the edge of the top. That's where all these four pieces of fabric are meeting here. So that's why I said to, um, to stop at the same point so it makes it nice and neat. Let's just push these bits out here. And then I'm going to top stitch around the top because at the moment when I put it in, oh, glue on my finger, um, the lining's going to come away a little bit. It's not too stable. So I'm just going to top stitch around that top seam. Again, you won't see this, doesn't have to be perfect top stitching, but quite close to the edge. Nicola, the Maddie doll is one of my projects for members of the Half Yard Sewing Club. So if you go to halfyardsewingclub.com, it's going to be quite nice. Um, if you wanted to join it, you can do. If you want to try a month for free, then when you go to checkout, if you type in the word welcome in capital letters, then um, you'll have a free month. I'll tell you more about Half Yard Club on Saturday because it's the last Saturday of the month, which is Half Yard Day. So if anybody's got any questions about the club, I'll be you know, giving you a tour around it as well and having a chat about what's coming up next month. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you, Helene. Right. What are you looking for on the website, Jan? It's the Christmas fabrics. They're not on there yet. They will be on pre-order. That's for the fabrics for the, the little dress and all that my next range of Christmas fabrics. Um, we'll try and get a, some bundles on pre-order by the weekend. Haven't told my daughter that yet. Saturday, Amanda, we are 11 o'clock in the morning and we're going to be doing a sew along as well. So if you have a look, at it, it's on my Facebook page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll have all of the details of what we're making, what time, and if you want to have a sew along, what materials that you'll need as well. Or have a look on the Half Yacht Club Facebook page. They have my whole schedule there, what's, what's coming up and when. Oh, Leftover Lucy. I love Leftover Lucy. Right, num, num, now my bag is ready to have the frame put around it. So that's nice and neat at the top. And uh, again, the top stitching there doesn't matter if it's a little bit wobbly, because now we're going to put the frame in. Um, Zell, that is a Marvel theme cushion. I do um, some videos on YouTube for children, and it's a whole section called Learn to Sew Kids. And that was one that I put on the other day. It's the latest one that I've done. It's the easiest cushion cover. So if you are teaching kids how to sew, um, then that's absolutely perfect. Some of my neighbor's children are actually learning, which is really nice um, from the videos. So that's, it, or if you've never, or you know anybody that has never used a sewing machine before, there's tutorials on there, just really very basic, because they are aimed at kids, how to use the same machine, and some very basic projects as well. So that's, that's one of those. But yes, it's all Marvel stuff. So we've got that on the web website as well. Um, 11, yes, 11 a.m. British time, that's, that's UK time. So where are you, Amanda? Are you, if you're in the States, you're normally five hours behind, I think. Um, right, so let's put this on. So if you're going to glue the frame on, so remember I said at the beginning that you could, uh, like I have, to, I'm sure there's tutorials on the website for doing that, um, that I've done. Thread the, f uh, the your embroidery thread through here first of all. Um, it's going to be quite difficult. I've just got this in the right knot with a safety pin. Um, it's going to be quite difficult to tie a knot through here and make it neat. And I don't tend to do that. I'll glue it. So when I come to the end of the thread here, just pop a little bit of um, HT2 glue just underneath there and let it dry. So you'll have done that. And then you open up your frame and drizzle some of your glue. I'll only use this glue with frames. I haven't even tried anything else. I've, not, I've never seen the point because I love this one. Um, you'll drizzle a little bit of glue a quarter of the way around. And with the HT2, if you just leave it for a second, just to let it go tacky. And then you'll take a pair of tweezers, is the easiest way to do it. And push the fabric up inside. You've still got a little bit of time to move it around but only do a quarter at a time. 
So this bends around the side here. This is if you're gluing, remember. Nice and neat on the inside and hold it there or clip it or just leave that alone until it's well and truly dry. When that's dry, you do the same with this side. Push that inside, leave it to dry. It's really important that you leave it to dry. And then you'll turn it over and do the same with the second half. The glue Nicola I use is a Gutemann HT2. Um, it's a really, really strong fabric glue. We've got it on the website. Um, if you glue in a frame into a bag, you don't want it to come away. And it is very difficult to pull a frame off a bag. I've tried to do that before, thinking I'll reuse a frame, and it tore the fabric. Um, so that's really, really strong. And I also use it, um, the Maddie ragdoll that I'm making at the moment. I, I hand sew the hand, she's got pigtails, so I hand sew the hair to the head down the centre. But I also run some glue just underneath the stitches as well, because I'm very aware that young children may want to pull the hair out. I don't want it to move. If I'm putting um, buttons on as decorations, I'll sew them, stick a bit of glue behind them. If I'm putting uh, toy eyes, even though they've got the safety backs on them, or using buttons for toys, eyes, I'll always put some glue behind it to hold it in place. It's, it's invaluable. Um, anyway, we're going to sew this one. Again, I'm not going to sew all the way, because um, it's quite time consuming to do that. So I'm just looking for a different colour embroidery thread, which I don't think I have. I do have. Just so I can show you, that's a bit of a mess down there. I always think I'm going to be nice and tidy with my embroidery thread and kind of decant it onto bobbins, but I never do. And I just end up with a big knot like I have down there. Right. I've got my two long needles, so bear with me. So this isn't the thread that I'm going to use for the stitches. This is just the one that I'm going to use to hold the frame in place first. So I wouldn't normally have a needle this long, but I did I did admit I'm not very not very well prepped. Christine's just been jumped on. <laughs> been asleep in the oh you didn't burn sleeping in the garden. Uh, right, let's thread that up. Oh, I missed one of them. Doesn't really matter. Try again. We've got the biggest needle with the biggest eye, and I still can't thread it. Okay. Right. Not in the end. Connie's having problems with the comments. I, I'm all. I'm all okay here, Connie. I'm, I'm just using six. Amanda, this is literally, you'll see, this is just to hold it in place, so it doesn't really matter what this is. Um, but for the stitches, I'm going to use six strands of thread. So I'm going to find the center point of my, of the top of this here. Um, where did I put my ruler? I'll put it down there. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Give us a thumbs up. And that's seven inches across, so I'm, three and a half inches is my center point. Um, my thread there. So that's where I'm going to start sewing. And that's going to just go through or around the centre of my frame. So I'm going to push the frame up inside. So this isn't the final stitching, this is just like a holding stitch because I'm going to take it all the way over the top going to get it wrapped up in a knot there and literally wrap the thread around to hold the fabric in place first. So this may seem like an extra step. Well, that's really time consuming. I'm not going to do that. But you'll find it so much easier when you start to sew to keep everything in place as you're sewing the proper stitches and then these come out afterwards. So again, I'll just do the one side. Remember this the side of the bag stuck out, so that's going to curve around, which is what gives the bag its shape. So let's go over here. It is worth the extra time doing this, honestly. You'll have a lot more accurate whoops, um, stitches when you come to doing the final one. So you don't have to be too neat, obviously. This is just like a tacking stitch. A 
finish that there and then go in the opposite direction and I find it easier as well to start in the center and move out then start at one side and, and move across all right and then over this side Mandy I hope this helps I know you're only just here but if you watch the video back um, I explain right at the beginning how you can design and make the bag to the size that you want to so you don't really need a pattern for a bag like this it's it's quite nice actually to create something yourself so you might look at my bag now it's a bit little I want to make it wider I want to make it bigger you can or round a base you can make it any style that you like um, and if you're a little bit concerned if you've not done that before then why not make it out of calico or some kind of cheap fabric and just see you don't have to put the lining in and, and do all of this sewing but you could make it the basic shape first of all um, so that you know that you're going to be happy with it so I've made quite a wide base on this one and the wider the base that you make when you square it off the shorter the bag is going to be but I like it on this size I think it's a nice evening bag kind of size so let's do this almost there that didn't take too long at all did it all right just tie that off there so it's like having a tacking stitch so that's all in place now so I don't have to start from the center and move out because I know it's got not going to move I can start at the end and work my way around so let's do that and again I like to use all six strands so you can really see the thread if it's if you're going to do it it may as well be a feature hasn't it there. a nice long piece of thread let's get this threaded up all oh, right Jane see I, I've always glued the Madison but I just find it quicker um, to glue them um, and when I glue obviously you don't see the stitches on the inside of the bag it's it's quite difficult to avoid seeing stitches sometimes on the inside of the bag but each to their own or horses for courses hello that's my son popping his head round the door so if you were brave you'd come and say hello to everyone <laughs> He's going, mm. right so I want to start from inside here underneath the frame because I've got a knot in the end and I want to hide that so let's start through the first hole and you can kind of in you go maneuver the needle around until you find the hole you wouldn't normally do it at this angle you do it on your knee so it's a lot easier than what I'm doing and you wouldn't normally use a dull needle so there's the end of my thread and when I pull that I want that to disappear inside and I can tuck the end of that in so you don't actually see the knot and then we just carry on sewing it's as easy as that so back through and back again and again I, I like the look of just alternate stitches these frames are designed so that you do like a back stitch or go all the way around and then come back again but again that's that's up to you so pull this nice and tight make sure that that stays inside the frame push that back in there and carry it oops missed it and then carry on sewing until you go all the way around I'll carry on a little bit but I think you get the idea now um, I don't know if the frames are on there now they're probably sold out because we only had a few left um, Jill but there should be more stock arriving as we speak so they'll be back in stock again later on tonight uh, I'm not sure of the size of them I think the original ones we had were eight inches and I've got a feeling these are a little bit smaller but if you're making your own bag like this it doesn't matter the size in fact if you go for one of these type of clasps I think it depends on the kind of fabric that you have um, the silver fabric I thought worked, worked really well oh, sorry the, the silver frame worked really well with the berries fabric I don't think that goes very well um, but if you wanted to make a bag using a purse handle like this you can make it in exactly the same way um, I just thought the fabric goes better with, with this one so 
So yes, we, we will be having them back uh, back on later on tonight. Kim's down at the office at the moment, and I know she'll be looking at stock while she's down there. Um, and we do have these uh, in the delivery. Quilt is not. Yeah, I'd quilt. I, I think it is called a quilt is not, isn't it? Should we do? Should we do a little bit of knotage? Because this is going to get a little bit dull, isn't it? Just watching me doing this. I'll finish it later on, and I'll put a picture on Facebook. So I'll leave that inside there. So basically, that's what it's going to look like. Obviously, the yellow stitches are going to come out. The second side will go on in just the same way, and that's going to be my little bag. And again, I think that's that's quite a nice size for like a. Um, an evening bag and I do like the fact that these uh, frames have got the hooks on the inside so I can put a chain on there we've got loads of chains on the website as well so I can make that into a shoulder strap or you could just get some you have to, they have to be very small but you could make your own strap if you wanted to make it out of fabric as well um, I shall I shall tell her uh, her him Sarah that you said hi you know considering my son works for um, Ideal World uh, he's a floor manager, so he works in this world of TV. Um, in fact, all my children are very shy when it comes to being in front of the in front of the camera. So I think he's just going to work now. So that's why he popped his head around the door. I just got a. Um, it's nice, isn't it? That uh, it's just a. In fact, that size really suits the bag, doesn't it? That kind of make a nice bridesmaid's bag, wouldn't it? Somewhere to keep your confetti. Oh, knots. Um, oh, that sounded quite rude, oh not. So I'll just have a quick sip of my lemonade. Let me find a smaller needle. <sighs> Loads of needles, haven't I? Quilt is not. Um, if you weren't aware, let's have a look in here. Get this threaded up. thread and um, do a red one you should be able to see it okay whoops it's gonna blow away isn't it so let's thread this So the way that, I, I think it's called a quilt is not, I, I'm not sure, but it seems to be from what you've just said. If you thread the needle and then take the point of the needle, let's see how close we can do that, and hold the thread so that the end of the thread and the end of the needle are facing each other, then I'm right-handed, so I'm going to take the end of that thread in my right hand and hold it with the needle, and then wrap the thread around there four or five times then transfer that to the other hand so I'm holding the bits that have wrapped around the needle and push that through and pull it and the knot will go all the way down to the bottom so you've got a nice little knot right on the end there let me do I might wobble a, a minute but let me see if I can just do that and show you again it is such a quick way of tying a knot if you haven't seen that before um, and you will get used to having a little tiny knot right at the end. I'm just going to have to focus there, so let me just let the camera... That's it. Um, so, point of needle. I'm just turning the fan away from me, so stay there a minute. That's it. The point of the needle facing the end of the thread, like so. And then grab the end of the thread with your needle so that the two are together wrap it around four or five times then hold on to the bit that you've wrapped push the needle through and it pulls that knot all the way down to the end of the fabric and you get a really nice little knot because um, you know sometimes when you try and do this and wrap it around the end of your finger you can end up with a huge knot or it all falls apart so that's it, it's a nice way of making a tiny little knot how to make a buttonhole that was a... F I, d I don't watch the sewing bee, Lorraine. I'll try and find out what that buttonhole was, but I, I haven't seen the sewing bee, so I'm afraid I don't know what that was. Um, 
just, uh, just, uh, Wellie's poo bag, jeans, little bag. I think, I think that would work, Michelle. I'm glad you like it, thank you. Okay, now just to remind you, um, so I thought somebody asked to see some fabric again and I've lost your message. Okay, anybody on the website? Oh, I've missed loads of you on the website. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm afraid, Sarah, you would... We're not actually set up to do a pre-order where you place an order and pay at the time. We've only got, at the moment, a very basic website. Um, so I'm afraid if you pre-order, you have to pre-order and pay for it. There's nothing we can do about that. We don't have a, a website that's advanced enough to take deposits and that kind of thing. So I'm afraid if you're... Um, yeah, it, it does mean that you have to pay, buy and pay for it in advance, I'm afraid. I wish, I wish we, we, we could do deposits and things or part payments or anything else, but um, we're only a little company, I'm afraid. Um, no, this isn't part of the Christmas collection, Mary. I saw that was ages ago. I missed your, I missed your, um, your message. Sorry about that. Um, thank you, Sarah. Right, I'm just I'm just checking. There's nobody kind of capital letters shouting at me before we go. Uh, fab fabric bag line, whatever you like, Anne. I I tend to use cotton, um, but if you've got um, I don't know a calico or anything for for lining, really, I, d I don't normally use a lot of polyester. A bound buttonhole was that a bound buttonhole on the sewing machine, or did they do it by hand? Let me know, let me know, and I'll try and look into it. Um, let's have a look on the website down there. So I'll see you again on, on Saturday if you're around at 11 o'clock in the morning. would be very nice. Remember, it's going to be the sew-along. Um, so we're going to make the sunglasses case, but we're going to quilt it. This one isn't quilted, but we're going to do just a little bit of straight line quilting on Saturday morning. That's at 11 o'clock um, on YouTube and on Facebook as well. So I'll have a look back through and see whether you want to do two o'clock or four o'clock as well. And um, do keep, I know you can't do that on, on YouTube because the message, the live messages disappear. But if you, um, if you want to leave me a comment on Facebook, if you have a, a preference of two or four o'clock on a Wednesday, let me know. And uh, majority wins, as they say. So, um, so we'll see how we go. Um, Amanda, this video will just stay here. So when we finish the live, like now, um, it, if you go to the top of the page and it will say about photos, videos, go to videos and all of the videos from the live sessions will be there and of course they're on YouTube as well so they'll stay there forever. Right, well it's been lovely to have your company. Um, go off and enjoy the rest of the evening. If you've got wonderful sunshine like this, hopefully you'll have some time to enjoy it and uh, if you haven't and you're stuck inside, go get some sewing done. I shall see you again on Saturday morning hopefully, otherwise I'll be here again at some time next week. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.